वेलकम टू खजर चौका स्कूल ऑफ एडवांस केमिस्ट्री A technique by which we can find the ratio of moles, ratio of masses and ratio of volumes from balanced chemical equation and from formula is known as stoichiometry. Ratio of moles, ratio of masses, ratio of volumes from balanced chemical equation and from formula. For example, when hydrogen is allowed to react with oxygen to make water H2O, one mole hydrogen react with a half mole oxygen to give one mole H2O is one half and one are basically the coefficients and these coefficients are called moles. So the ratio of moles between the reactant and the product is one ratio half ratio one. This means that one mole of hydrogen is going to react with half mole of oxygen for the complete reaction and one mole of water is being formed according to this balanced chemical equation. This ratio is basically known as mole ratio. We can also compare the ratio of different masses with the help of balanced chemical equation. 2 gram of hydrogen is going to react with half into 32 that is equal to 16 gram of oxygen. They both are making 16 plus 2, 18 gram water. So the mass ratio from this balanced chemical equation is 2 ratio 16 ratio 18. We can also check the volume from the balanced chemical equation or the ratio of the volume from the balanced chemical equation. 1 mole of a gas has the volume that is equal to 24 dm cube that is at RTP room temperature and pressure. Now we can convert the mole of the gas into the volumes. Volume of 1 mole of hydrogen at RTP will be equal to 24 dm cube. Half mole of oxygen will be equal to 12 dm cube. And as H2O is a liquid at room temperature, so this formula is not applicable for the water. These are the volume ratios. Now I am going to compare hydrogen versus oxygen. I am taking moles of hydrogen versus mass of oxygen. Yes, it can be compared with the help of a balanced chemical equation or with the help of a formula. From balanced chemical equation, the mole of hydrogen is equal to 1 and the mass of oxygen is 16 gram. It means one mole of hydrogen required 16 gram of oxygen for the complete reaction. Let if I am using 100 mole of H2 hydrogen, then how much oxygen will be required? That is equal to 16 into 100, that is 1600 gram. So we can compare mole versus mass ratio mole mole ratio mole volume ratio mass mass ratio mass volume ratio volume volume ratio Almost six type of comparison that can be made with the help of the balanced chemical equation. But this comparison is made on behalf of unitary rule that is also known as ratio proportion method. Let's solve a question. Find mass of find mass of water when 100 mole of oxygen is allowed to react with the excess of hydrogen. 
with the help of unity rule right equal over here I am going to mark right hand side and the left hand side I am writing the species on the right hand side for which I am going to find the answer and the given species are placed on the left hand side that is oxygen in this case and the unit of oxygen is in mole. First step is first step is put the values from the balanced chemical equation. According to the equation we know that half mole of oxygen that is going to make 18 gram water. So first value from the equation if half mole of oxygen is there the formation of water will be 18 gram and if I am using one mole of oxygen I mean I am using double oxygen the quantity of water will also become double that is basically a unit rule. Now we are going to find the value with respect to 100 mole of oxygen. If I am using 100 mole of oxygen as we know 1 mole of oxygen is going to generate 36 gram of water and if I am using 100 mole of oxygen the simply amount of water will be 36 into 100 that is 36 hundred gram. So this is the maximum quantity of water that can be made using 100 mole of oxygen with excess hydrogen. This method is known as unitary method or ratio proportion method. So we can compare three type of quantities mole, mass and volume from the balanced chemical equation. Now come towards the formula H2SO4. We can also apply the unit rule on the formula. For example there is a question Find the mass of sulfur in 196 gram of H2SO4. Write the equal over here. Put the S on the right hand side, sulfur on right hand side and put H2SO4 on the left hand side. First information will be reported from the formula. As we know the MR of H2SO4 that is equal to 2 into 1 plus 32 plus 4 into 16 that is equal to 98 gram. So whenever you are going to find any sort of information from formula you will start from the MR. In this case the MR of H2SO4 is equal to 98 and 98 gram if there is 98 gram H2SO4 sulfuric acid then at that time the formation of sulfur the presence of sulfur is 32 gram and if there is 1 gram of H2SO4 one for unity that's why this rule is known as unity rule if we are using one gram of h2so4 how much sulfur will be there 32 divided by 98 and in this case we are using at present we are using 196 gram of sulfuric acid 32 divided by 98 into 196 And the answer is 64 gram. So with the help of unity rule we can find that uh, when we are using 196 gram of H2SO4 64 gram of sulfur would be there. Now come towards moles and concentration. Mole is equal to mass over MR. One mole is also equal to 24 dm cube of a gas at room temperature. One mole is equal to 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 numbers. Number of atom, uh, number of ions, 
number of molecules. So whenever you are going to find the number of atoms, number of ions or number of molecules, you must have to use these numbers. These numbers are known as Avogadro's number. The last one is number of moles that is also denoted by N and N is equal to C into V, concentration into volume and this volume is in dm cube. So uh, there are basically four major application of the moles in moles in term of mass, moles in term of volume of the gas, moles in term of numbers, number of atoms, ions and molecules, moles in term of concentration. When we find the number of atoms or number of ions, number of molecules, first we find the moles of molecule or moles of atoms. How can we find that? By multiplying with the Avogadro's number. Let's see how we can find the number of atoms. Once again, first find the number of moles of atom, then multiply it with 6.02 into 10 to the power 23. In chemistry calculation, as I have told you, uh, whenever you are going to find the number of atoms, number of ions, and number of molecule, you will have to use this Avogadro's number. If we have one mole of H2SO4, then it means that it is one mole of H2SO4 molecules because it H2SO4 itself, H2SO4 itself is a molecule. Now I'm going to find the mole of hydrogen atom in H2SO4 that is equal to 2. Mole of oxygen atom in H2SO4 that is equal to 4. And mole of sulfur atom in H2SO4 that is equal to 1. Now we can convert this number into the this mole into the number of atoms to multiply by 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 and your answer will be number of hydrogen atom. First 2 was the mole of hydrogen atom, now it is number of hydrogen atom. Similarly 4 into 6.02 into 10 to the power 23, this is the number of oxygen atom. For or in case of sulfur, 1 into 6.02 into 10 to the power 23, now your answer has been converted into number of sulfur atom. The next thing is ratio of moles is also equal to the ratio of volume that is true for the gases. It means that for example, uh, I am going to compare hydrogen and oxygen. Let both hydrogen and oxygen are in equal volume 24 dm cube of hydrogen and 24 dm cube of oxygen at same temperature. At that time, it means that their mole will be also will also be same. So, if the volume of the two gases is same, volume of gas one is equal to volume of gas two. It is also true that their mole will be same at that temperature at that pressure. Concentration Mole of solute or mass of solute in 1 dm cube of solution is called concentration of that solution. For example, 1 liter or 1 dm cube Pepsi contains 116 gram sugar in it. So the concentration of sugar in the Pepsi is equal to 116 grams per dm cube. Uh, basically concentration has two units, one is mole per dm cube and other one is in gram per dm cube. 
mole per dm cube the formula of the concentration for the mole per dm cube is c is equal to mole into thousand over v this v is a this v is measured in centimeter cube and this v is the volume of solution mole per volume is basically concentration unit of this concentration is mole per dm cube we can also write as concentration is equal to mole into 1 over v the value of this volume is in dm cube and once again unit for the concentration is also in mole per dm cube we can change the answer of mole per dm cube into gram per dm cube so answer of the one unit of the concentration can be changed into the other unit for example if we multiply mole per dm cube with mr of the solute then we will convert our answer into the grams per dm cube once again concentration has two unit one is mole per dm cube and other one unit is gram per dm cube in case of a mole per dm cube mole multiplied by 1000 over v and this v is the volume of solution it may be written as mole into mole into 1 over v and this v is basically dm cube this volume is in, is now in dm cube unit of these both expression are the same that is moles per dm cube